Hello everybody and welcome to another heat video. Today we have an update in heat and it is the fishing update. So heat has had many ways that we have to survive, but one thing it has always been missing is fishing. So I'm really excited that the developers have decided to add this aspect of survival to heat. So not only can we fish, but we can also sell our fish fillet them and cook them for some extra food and sustenance. So the first half of this video is going to be showing you how to get started in fishing and what the process of fishing looks like. And then the second half of the video is going to read through the entirety of the patch notes that the developers have given us. If you want to get into fishing, you're going to need some tools. So we have a bug catching net to research and we have three different types of fishing rods to research. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using the most advanced fishing rod, which we will see in a minute can be crafted in your most upgraded version of the smithy. So we do have these three options. I'm not sure how they differ yet. I'll have to do a video in the future about that, but I am going to go for the most advanced rod so we can see if we can get some legendary catches. And here is the rod crafting in the superior smithy, smithy, so that is the highest version of the smithy that you can craft. I ended up with a fine notched fishing rod. So now that you have your tools, you need to go out and find bugs. It is the dead of winter on my server, so I decided to dig for bugs instead of using a bug catching net to catch them. I couldn't really find any flying around, so as you can see, I'm digging up worms and even a grasshopper here at the end. Once you have your tools and your bait, you can head out to your desired fishing location. You cast by holding left click and releasing, and then once you're in the water, you can control your lure with A, S, W, and D. So you can go up, down, left, and right. You can also let out your line by holding right click. So your goal is to find a school of fish and position your lure as close to those fish as you possibly can. It's like an explorative kind of mode and it's actually really interesting and I haven't seen a survival game do something like this. So try and target a school of fish and get your lure, as I said, as close as possible. Then. Once you hook a fish, as you'll see here in a minute, you have to read the line of your lure that'll tell you to either hold A or hold D to pull left or to pull right. So here it says pull right, so I'm holding down D. And you have to left click and hold at the same time in order to reel this fish in. So hold left click and then also hold down either A or D. Pull left is A and pull right is D. And then as you successfully do the pull left and pull right, along with holding down your left click, as you can see, the fish will start coming towards the shore. And when you reach the completely left side of that little fishing line bar, you will catch the fish. So here we caught a bass. And I believe this was the legendary bass. Oh no, this was the fine bass. So. It sells for $6.41. I did end up catching a legendary bass that sold for $69. So I'm gonna end up cooking this little fine bass and uh, I'm gonna put it in my hand here. You can actually use them as a weapon, but if you hold R, it'll let you fillet it. So now I have two raw fish in my inventory that I can take back to my house and throw in the smoker so we can get some nice smoked fish meat. I actually haven't placed a smoker up until this point, so I figure I can show you placing that. You can research it where you research the stove and other kitchen appliances like the heater. So there's my heater. Anyway, I'm going to choose to put the smoker in the corner of the kitchen. Usually there's like a, a smoke room or a smoke house where you would put these because the room fills up with the smoke that comes from it. But I just figured for the case of convenience, I'm going to go ahead and just throw it right here. It's kind of a, a small workstation, but at some point I can make a little room for it. So if you open up the smoker, you just go ahead and drag and drop your fish meat in there. And then it does need a fuel. It can run on most things. Um, goes through logs pretty quickly, but I think I end up putting sticks on it. And then all we have to do is wait for the fish to smoke. And after a short amount of time, our fish is done. And it actually smoked both pieces of fish at the same time. And it didn't take that long. It only took about 
maybe a minute, minute and a half. So anyway, if you put this fish on your hot bar, you can see that we now have a little fish fillet of uh, smoked meat. And if we eat it, it will fill up our hunger bar pretty substantially. I think it's about the equivalent of some cooked meat. So that's just kind of a, a handy way for us to keep on top of our survival here in heat. So as I mentioned, you can also just sell your fish that you've caught straight to the shipping bin. I did catch a legendary bass, which was worth $69, and so this could actually be a pretty lucrative hobby to do in the game if you just feel like, you know, going out and throwing some uh, lines out there and seeing what you catch. I'd imagine if you came home with an inventory full of legendary fish, your piggy bank would be very happy indeed. Now that we have gone over how to fish, I'm going to go ahead and read through the patch notes that Sir Fairnor posted for us over on Steam. This is called Heat Update 22, Bug Catching and Fishing. Schools of fish and insects have appeared throughout the world. Grab a rod, attach your bait, and cast your line to try catch the biggest and most rare fish you can. Cook up your catch for a tasty meal or sell them in town and at the shipping bin. Bug net. Gather some bait using your trusty bug net. Alternatively, you could try shoveling to unearth some worms and beetles beneath your feet. Wooden fishing rod. A cheap rod with a short line and a sinking lure. Banded fishing rod. A fishing rod with a floating lure. Notched fishing rod. A fast reeling fishing rod with a controllable lure. We are taking the servers down and rolling them back up in order to process the update. We will also be wiping official servers for this update. If you experience a crash or freeze, please follow these steps, especially after an update, as it seems Steam sometimes requires a file integrity check after an update to work properly. So, as I did not show you in this video, the wooden fishing rod and the banded fishing rod have different types of lures, so it would seem that the notched fishing rod is the one that you can control that I showed you, but the banded fishing rod probably just has a lure that sits on the surface, as well as the fact that the wooden fishing rod's lure sinks to the bottom, so it might vary depending on the kind of fish you're trying to catch. I'm going to have to do another video and take a look at this. I just assume that the higher quality rods meant higher quality fish and that very well may be the case so i'm gonna have to do more testing and get back to you guys on that so let's continue with the rest of the patch notes here are the rest of the changes for update 22. world chunks below the terrain no longer load this makes distant ground level data load a little sooner good for optimization added the bug catching net added server seeded bug swarms at ground level these can be collected from swarms with the bug catching net added bee black fly butterfly dragonfly firefly and wasp swarms to catch bugs can be collected randomly when using a shovel added beetle grasshopper ladybug and worm to loot drops on shoveled ground added the wooden fishing rod added the banded fishing rod added the notched fishing rod bugs can be attached to fishing rods as fish bait you click and drag the bait onto the fishing rod by the way added server seeded fish schools to large rivers and bodies of water fish vary in size and speed to add more or less difficulty to individual catches added bass mexican snook perch pike trout and walleye fish schools added raw fish cooked fish and smoked fish Liquids can no longer be quality boosted by adding a drop of something better to the top of the bucket. Items made from materials that cannot have quality levels are no longer an invalid quality. Fixed the endless shivering during audio hypothermia. That was pretty annoying. Added minimal heat sources to neutral buildings so that players inside them will not freeze. And then this is a note. Um, we did have to re-download 32 gigs of the textures that they have in the game. They rebundled them. It's not a big deal. You'll just have to go through a little bit more of a download. And then there was an issue with uh, servers getting hung up on a waiting for pages thing, but there has been a hot fix put out. So thank you to the developers for getting on that before the weekend. I'm really excited to play this weekend. So it says they reverted the change to terrain chunk loading under the suspicion that it is causing waiting for pages to hang. So basically that optimization they tried to do caused a hang in loading. So I'm sure that they will work that out in the future. But anyway, those are the patch notes about fishing and bugs. I hope this video helped. If you were looking for some more information on fishing and heat or even just about heat the game itself, if there's anything in particular you have a question about, feel free to ask me in the comments section down below and I'll usually respond, uh, may even make a video on it if enough people have a requested thing that they have questions about. So anyway, as always, the links to all of my socials are in the description box down below. I am running a heat server 
which is being funded through my Patreon. So if you wanted to check out my server, feel free to join my Discord server where you will then find the heat information. It is 100% free to play on the server. It's mostly PvE focused, but you can have a shootout if you agree on it with somebody else. We're having a lot of fun. We have um, eight to 10 players that are on within a day. So it is a nice group of people and we're all really enjoying playing the game again. So definitely feel free to check out that. Or just join the Discord if you just want to talk about heat, ask questions, you don't have to play on the server. Anyway, I hope you all are enjoying your games, particularly if you are playing heat. I will see you all in the next video.